New from 101 Films is A Boy and His Dog from 1975. This movie is all about a post-apocalyptic future set in the unfathomable future of 2024. We follow our main characters of Vic and Blood. Vic is an 18-year-old survivor and Blood is his canine companion and together they have a kind of telepathic link, often having voiceover conversations as Blood um, teaches Vic all about the history of his world while they scavenge for food and more importantly, women. Because that seems to have been the rarest commodity of the planet. We have scavengers, we have strange cult-like people, we have a dystopian future that is rather bleak and dark as we watch these two characters kind of bumble about it. Hell, I didn't have to cut her. She could have been used two or three more times. Ah, uh, war is hell. And what I really like about this one is the relationship between Vic and Blood all the way through the movie. It feels like a real partnership. They niggle at each other, they have little spats and fights, they fall out, they come together again, they work somewhat harmoniously sometimes and they cohabitate this world together. And you get this wonderfully exuberant performance, I would say, from Don Johnson as a rambunctious 18-year-old who is sex-starved and constantly looking for uh, women. Uh, and it's also always done in a kind of derogatory sense, like they're some sort of commodity, uh, as they are so sparse. Right now I'm hungry and I want to get laid. So find me abroad and we'll go to the promised land. That's what you always say. I know, I know, but I mean it this time. But the weird fact of a boy and his dog is the second half for me. Now all the way through it we get uh, the hint, uh, a kind of voiceover or off-screen comments of Jason Robards who plays a, a character here. As they are sizing up Vic, they want him for some nefarious purpose. And we get introduced to this underground community who live in somewhat safety and a somewhat... Uh, pantomime existence of warped reality as they try to honour the old ways but ultimately do it in a strangely barbaric way. Let down here by Quilla June to be the recipient of an honour. You know she's a scumbag! You watch your foul mouth boy. And we have this strange community under the earth struggling to survive having uh, these strange ideas who want Vic for a very unusual purpose. I won't go any further than that because I think it's a real surprise. This movie is just pure fun. 91 minutes it is really entertaining. It's one of those films that grows on me the more I watch it. The more I spend time with the characters, the more I engage, the more we get to that kind of weird finale that's so fitting. It's just pleasant. Do you like to think of the further adventures of Vic and Blood in this one? I would love to have seen more. I think Don Johnson is really good, uh, particularly as he's an almost one note character, but there's a little bit of growth throughout the film in there. I think the dystopian parts of the world are really nicely um, executed. There's an idea of a sort of larger grander story there, particularly the history of how the world became uh, so destroyed. World War IV lasted five days, just long enough for the final missiles to leave their silos on both sides. The idea of the underground community is just wonderfully entertaining. So much fun. I just utterly uh, adore that strange existence that they have in there of of replicating the memory of normality which is just super fun a boy and his dog is just a, a, a funny engaging a unusual kind of dystopian movie i really like it. i would strongly recommend checking it out i've seen it a couple of times i went from kind of like nah, i'm not sure to really kind of enjoying it the more i kind of spend time with it blood is a great character as well and the partnership just tease this movie off perfectly. I would love to know your thoughts on A Boy and His Dog. Are you going to pick up 101's version of this? The transfer is fantastic. It has a, 
a, in conversation with Harlan Ellison, the writer, and L.Q. Jones, the director, and a commentary by director L.Q. Jones um, as well, which is, is pretty decent. But the transfer looks pretty fantastic. Let me know in the comment box below if you're going to pick it up, check it out, whatever. I would love to know. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you are interested. Don't forget to hit the like button because it really helps these videos. And in the description box below are links to Patreon, the membership program, or manvfilm.com. All ways in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.